Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Yami. So I'm going to solve this question in two method, method one and method two. Method one is pure triangle. Method two is a use of basic concept of circle. मैं हर एक स्टेप पे आपको बताऊंगा कि मैं कर क्या रहा हूँ so that you can understand हर एक स्टेप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं हमेशा आपसे बोलता हूँ वेन एवर यू हैव अ रेगुलर फिगर ड्रॉ ऑल लाइन्स इक्वल फाइन पेंटागन ऑल लाइन्स आर द इक्वल इन द हेक्सागन ऑल लाइन्स आर नथिंग बट इक्वल ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क फ्यू क्वेश्चन यू हैव दिस फिगर इफ आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन वट इज द एंगल एट जे यू कैन से इन पेंटागन यू हैव नथिंग बट वन जीरो एट डिग्री सो इन ट्राइंगल ई जे डी कैन वी फाइंड ऑल द एंगल्स यस वी कैन से दिस एंगल इज थर्टी सिक्स एट डी वी हैव थर्टी सिक्स बट हियर आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन पॉइंट ई बिकॉज वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ लाइन्स ऑन ई प्लीज आंसर मी जी ई डी इज वट एंगल सो वी कैन से इन अ पेंटागन वी हैव वन जीरो एट डिग्री माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इट इज नथिंग बट सेवेंटी टू डिग्री फाइन दिस एंगल इज नथिंग बट सेवेंटी टू डिग्री my third question to you would be what is the angle feg the angle feg is something like this if we draw a line at e the complete angle at e in the hexagon is nothing but 120 degree i know this angle is 120 degree we have 72 degree so the remaining part is nothing but 120 minus 72 Which one is nothing but forty-eight degree. So we can say this angle is nothing but forty-eight degree. Fine. Now we need to work on few more lines. Let's do one construction. Join E to H. Fine. Now work on triangle G E H. I want to use G H triangle. We can say at G. In pentagon, we have one zero eight degree. So this angle at E is nothing but thirty six degree. Fine. This angle is again thirty six degree. Now, can we say E J D is congruent to E G H? Can we see? We have a congruency here. We have a pentagon. The sides of this one is S S. S S A. We have a congruency, so we can say the line A D should be equal to E H because the triangles are congruent, and we know the line A D is the line of the hexagon. So we can say here by the A equal to B, B equal to C, E F is equal to E H. So now in triangle E. F H, which one is isosceles? Because these two lines are the equal. This line angle, the complete angle is nothing but forty-eight plus thirty-six is equal to eighty-four. Then these two angles are nothing but since isosceles is one eighty minus eighty-four divided by two, which one is nothing but forty-eight degree. Okay, so we can say angle. F in the E F H is equal to angle H is nothing but forty eight degree. So this entire angle is forty eight degree. Now consider triangle F, which one is this point, E, which one is this point, and a D in hexagon. Can we say in hexagon just considered F E D the entire angle is one twenty degree. Just focus on this line. This entire angle is one twenty degree, so these two angles must be thirty thirty. So can we say this angle is thirty degree? Now we find angle F is forty eight degree. This one is thirty degree. This angle is eighteen degree, and this one is our answer. So this one is crude geometry. We use triangles and solve the question. Now I am going to use crude pentagon and the crude circle concept. The method two, the easiest and the fastest method. of this question we have a regular pentagon focus on point e if we join ec and join eb can we say just focus this angle is nothing but 108 degree this angle is 36 degree this angle is 36 degree 
at A, we have 108 degree. So we can say this angle is nothing but 36 degree. This angle should also be 36 degree. At E, we have 36 degree because all angles together to make 108 degree in a pentagon. Now the second case is, can we say we need to work on angle C, angle E, angle B. This angle is 36 degree. Please note it down. The second point I want to use here is the line EC and the line EB. It is nothing but equal. How comes? Due to the congruent figure or you can say that due to the similarity. So you just need to note down two things. This one is 36 degree and we have EC is equal to EB in this figure. If this is okay with you, let's solve our question. In this question, we just need to do one small construction, join E to H. And recall the last outcome. We know ED is equal to EH, the same outcome. This one is nothing but 36 degree. And since ABCD is nothing but a regular hexagon, so we can say EF is equal to ED is equal to EH. Now, here we have a word locus of a point which is equidistant from a fixed point. Now, E is the fixed point and we have a three point to equidistant set. Then we can say we can draw a circle. We can draw a circle draw kar sakte hai, and that fixed point is nothing but center. This is the definition of a circle. If you have three points, at least which one is equidistant from a common point, then the common point is circle and these three points lie on the circle. Perimeter pe lagta hai. Now, ab dekhna, since E is the center, we need to consider one thing. From D and from H, at center, we are making angle 36 degree. Then from D and from H, on the perimeter, aap kitna angle banaoge? And on perimeter center ka half hota hai, 18 degree is our answer. Bhoat simple sa question hai ye. You just need to do one small construction. Aapko E se H milana hai. And uske baad, by the congruency, aapko bolna kya hai? E F equal to E D equal to E H. And from the सर्कल डेफिनेशन लोकस ऑफ द सर्कल जिसको मैंने आज ही क्लास में डिस्कस किया है तो मैं बोल सकता हूं कि ये ऑन सरकमफेरेंस होगा ई सेंटर होगा अगर आप सेंटर पे 36 डिग्री बनाते हो तो आप पेरिमीटर पे हाफ बनाओगे 18 डिग्री इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन तो वी हैव डिस्कस टू मेथड वन इज द क्रूड ट्रायंगल वन इज द क्रूड कंस्ट्रक्शन विद दिस सर्कल सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट आप उसको कमेंट में पोस्ट कर सकते हो कि किस मेथड में क्या डाउट है और आपके पास कोई बेटर सॉल्यूशन है तो आप प्लीज पोस्ट कीजिए आई ट्राई टू यूज दैट सॉल्यूशन एंड आपको क्रेडिट देते हुए मैं इसका आंसर पोस्ट करूंगा ओके सो गॉड ब्लेस यू हैप्पी लर्निंग एंड बाय बाय